Walk. Episode 6. The truth is, I'm lonely. It is lonely sitting for hours in front of a bank of screens even though you know you're doing your duty for the world and you're saving people's lives and stuff. The real truth is, I've been lonely for a lot longer than that. Not like Marianne. Yes, look, I am going to tell you about Marianne. Because why shouldn't you know? You just keep walking, Walker, and I'll tell you a story. So, um, me and Marianne, sisters. My mum's Danish, my dad's from the UK. We went between the two when we were kids, hence the accent. And uh, it meant Marianne and I were thrown together more than normal, you know? Moving between worlds meant we only really understood each other. I'm older, but only by a year. Our parents used to say that once they'd had one, they couldn't wait to have another. I think they got luckier the second time than the first. Marianne's always been... sunny, you know what I mean? I was the boring one, the hard-working, play-by-the-rules one. She could always just cruise by on charm ever since she was little. I remember this one time, when I was about eight, she was seven, we'd both decided to steal a penny sweet from Woolworths. You remember Woolworths? Are they even around anymore? Ah, the internet tells me they're online only. Mm. Anyway, yes, um, Marianne and I both stole a toffee penny from Pick and Mix. (laughs) And our mum saw, and um, I got punished, obviously. No sweets for a month, no pocket money. And Marianne... I mean... I get that she was younger, I do, but she would just do this look. Eyelashes, little smile, big eyes, when she said, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. And her parents did nothing to her, nothing. That's always how it was. When we were teenagers, it was still the same. She was always the one who could get the boys by smiling and just saying a few words and, you know, It's not like I haven't had any success, I have, but she's a different kind of thing completely. I sometimes feel she could make anyone do anything if she just asked them nicely enough. (laughs) Now I sound like a bitter witch. But I really didn't... I didn't resent her back then. That was just how it was, and we were close, you know? Really close. Best friends. Walker, um, I'm sorry about this. I think the burn have set up a roadblock further down the track you're on. You're going to have to come off the path. I know it's getting dark, but I'm monitoring you. I've got your signals loud and clear. Please, just trust me. I'll bring you in. Okay, you're doing well. I know it's cold. And I know you're slowing down, but please keep moving, Walker. Please, please keep moving. I'm going to tell you the rest of my story, Walker. You have to think about something, right? And what could be jollier than the story of me and my sister having a massive row? Which basically is what happened. I suppose it had been brewing for a long time. She thought I was judging her for not, like, going to university, which I'd never judge her for, but I did think she was taking too much from our parents, that it was time for the two of us to look after ourselves, but she still kept asking them for stuff. And then I thought she was judging me for, like, like she always said, never having any fun. And maybe she wasn't, and maybe I was trying to control her a bit. Anyway, it was one of those blow-up rows which people have when they're too close. I said some stuff I shouldn't have said. I think I said I never wanted to see her again. But I didn't mean it. I didn't. She stormed off. She said, I'd see what she can do. 
that you didn't need to be stuck up like me to do amazing stuff. And you don't. I know you don't. Maybe it would have helped if I could have said something about my job other than I am a boring civil servant. She would have thought Spy Master was quite a cool job. She might have been impressed if I told her about all the lives we saved. People who didn't even know they were in danger. Just going about their daily business one minute and then limbs and blood everywhere the next. Except that never happened because we stopped it. I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't have helped. I think she'd been looking for that argument for years. Like she knew she could make it happen when she needed to. They never let you alone, do they, brothers and sisters? You grew up with them. It's like they're part of you and you're part of them. Even if you hate them, you can't forget them. Anyway, it started out as an argument about her borrowing money from my dad and ended up about all the things we thought the other one disapproved of. And then none of us heard from her for a while. Walker. Walker, don't stop. Please don't stop. I'm... I'm monitoring your vital signs, Walker. You're dipping closer and closer to hypothermia. You have to keep moving. Please. I can't lose another of you. Okay. That's good. Your body temperature's not dropping any further right now. You've probably guessed how this ends, right? Marianne? Well... We didn't hear from her for a while. And then, when we did, she sent these weird messages about her new friends, her new ideas. <clears throat> she joined New Tomorrow. Those anti-technology people started sending me stuff about how computers were going to end up controlling us all. Crazy stuff. <laughs> Insane underlinings and notes from her in the margins and I thought she's actually going mad for a while I thought she was doing that deliberately to undermine me because of what I do that maybe she'd found that out somehow and was trying to get my security clearance revoked but I don't think that's it new tomorrow is one thing but we think she's joined the burn now they are... No one knows what they want, except that they're very, very well organized, tightly controlled. They've used the terrorists as a cover, but they're not terrorists. When you tomorrow go in and destroy data, the burn are there to steal the most valuable stuff before the rest goes up in smoke. They're compiling dossiers, getting powerful people on their side, and they're well-funded. We thought we'd identified some key players and had data on them, but then they fried all our comm systems. Those devices you're carrying, they do quite a few things, but most importantly, all the intel we have left on the burn is on there. With luck, it'll be enough to destroy them. That's why I'm on this job. Because my sister's with a burn. She might even be kind of important there, in that way she has of getting to the top with charm. And someone over here has decided that this gives us an advantage because maybe I can think like her. I've seen her picture in some of the briefing files about the burn. She's... she's not just a foot soldier there. And I'm afraid she's gone crazy. Walker, I'm afraid that one day one of you will come up against her and you'll have to kill her. I'm just so afraid, Walker. You're doing so well, Walker. Just one foot, other foot, one foot, other foot. You're nearly there. Can you see it? Can you see the cabin? There. Stretch out your left hand and you'll... There. Pull the door open. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're not going to lose anyone else today. 
There should be the means to make a fire there, Walker, and cans of food. And uh, this feels weird, but thank you for listening and staying alive. Thank you for listening to all of that. Walker. Walker. You've been asleep for, wow, about 14 hours now. Time to get up, I think. Daylight's burning and we have to get on the move. Your vital signs are very good now. Looks like you didn't even get frostbite. Which is good for me. <laughs> I lose points in the office sweepstakes if I get one of my guys to Edinburgh, but without toes. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, not that we're playing a game here. We're really not. The points thing is just a joke, honestly. You're about six miles away from Emma, Stanton and Paul. I'm recommending that. I know this is a bit rough, but I'm recommending that you stay separate today. Lawrence is gone. You and Emma are two good chances to get that intel to Edinburgh. While the burner this close behind us, I'd rather have you walk in parallel paths. I think that's why they picked me for this job too, you know. Capacity to think rationally in a crisis. It is the best idea. Plus, Walking alone makes you less of a target, so there's that. Keep heading along the path, Walker. You've got a good bit of travel to get done today, but the skies are blue, without any snow forecast. It's almost fine, right? Walker! Walker! Over here! Oh my God! The man down in the valley, waving. Get moving down the path, Walker. I think it's Lawrence. Walker! Are you a sight for sore eyes? Hey, is your box to contact Charlie still working? Because mine... Look, see? I think the burn did something to it. You know, when they attacked the cabin, where we rested from the wolves, see? It makes that sort of... You know, BP start-up noise, you know. Bong, that, but then look, nothing. I think they broke it. That's impossible. The burn don't have the technology to... Walker, the two of you carry on going in that direction and take Lawrence's device and put yours next to it. I'm going to try a remote reset. I was sure this box had gone completely offline. Thought they must have killed Lawrence. Hey, you got it working again. Lawrence, can you hear me? Loud and clear. That's amazing, Charlie. Did you, like, voodoo it from Geneva with actual magic? Yep. OK, yeah, cool, yeah. I suspected from your voice that you might be a practitioner in the dark arts. Awesome that the government has invested in high-grade magical technologies. You haven't been... Talking to Emma again about spirit guides, have you? You know, this isn't actually magic. Well, you know what they say, Charlie. Any sufficiently advanced technology looks like magic. Well, that's why it was so creepy when the burn cut you off. They really shouldn't have been able to do that. Are you sure you didn't sit on it? Were you playing with the buttons again, trying to get it to play old Lang Syne? Might have been. Don't do that. Roger, Charlie. <laughs> well, that sounds like I'm trying to spell a word. Roger, Charlie, Echo... Guys, into the trees. A plane's coming. Get out of sight. Can you maybe walk a bit faster? It's nearly on you. Well, we could try running. The ground's really uneven and there are lots of dips and gullies and tree roots sticking out. We'd probably break our legs. But if you think it's a good idea... No, you're right. No, sorry. It's just... I can't lose you now. Not when you've just come back to life, Lawrence. You know, I wasn't actually dead. But it felt like you were to me. You're doing well. 
The coppice is less than 100 feet away now, and those pine needles are really thick. They'll hide you from above. If we make it... You're almost there. So's the plane. Come on, Walker. I think we can risk a quick jog. You made it. Now get deeper into the woods while I see if they're coming back for a second pass. How are we doing, Charlie? Safe to come out? I'm not sure. The plane's turning, but it doesn't seem to be heading back this way. Oh, that's good enough for me. Because I have to tell you, I really, really don't like brambles. Or nettles. Both brambles and nettles are things I feel very strongly that the world would be a better place without. Uh, I can see lots of daylight. Nearly at the edge now, just a last shove through these mulberry bushes and... Ow! Charlie! Why didn't you warn us there was a massive great slope the other side of the trees? I feel like I've rolled about a mile downhill. And there were more nettles. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't see it. The satellite imaging isn't great around here. Are you okay? Bruises, nothing. Oh! Uh, mm, no. Nothing broken. But if that's what you call... Oh, no. The plane's coming back, heading right for you. They must have spotted you in their first pass. Quick, get back into those trees. We can't. The slope's too steep. We'll never make it in time. Then head for those bushes by the river. They're the only other place you can hide. It's nearly on, you guys. Come on, you can make it. It's only 500 feet. It's no good. I can't. I think... I think I twisted my ankle when we fell. We're just going to have to crouch really low, I hope. That's... That's weird. Stay down while I see they're coming back for a third pass. No, no, it's okay. I think they really are going away this time. Looks like you're safe, guys. You can keep walking. <laughs> 